afternoon, everyone. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Praise God. Praise God. Let me know that you can, can hear me. Let me know that you can hear me and see me. I know it's been a minute, right? I have been so busy, but working for the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I, if you see my title, my title says, return back to the Lord with a whole heart. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is time. Let me tell you something. Whew, there's so much to tell. But in this hour, in this moment, the enemy is trying to get your distraction. And one thing about being distracted, when you're distracted, you can't really focus. You can't focus. So then he's trying to see this, this, that, that. God is saying, no, 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 no. God wants you to just continue to stay focused. Stay focused on what he told you. Stay focused on what he showed you. And just stay focused because here's the deal. In this hour, in this last hour, the enemy is trying to get you away from God. He's trying to, he has sinned this, he'll send that, he'll send this one, he'll send that one. You got to stay prayed up in this hour. You got to keep fasting, you got to keep praying, and you got to obey God with all your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. And if you mess up, just turn back around, repent, say, God, you know what, I repent. And start over again. It's never too late to start over. As long as you have what? Breath in your body. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And and stop playing with people. What, what am I saying? You don't, you don't have time to waste in this hour. You don't have time to waste in this hour. Let me say it one more time. You don't have time to waste in this hour. Because that's a, the enemy is trying to frustrate you. And waste your time. I stop wasting my time. Me, and I don't let people waste my time. Because when they start that foolishness. I'm gone. I, 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 whatever, either this is God or it's not. And that's in every area of your life. Because let me tell you something, there's a shift that's coming. Oh, I, I can't preach it because I'm getting ready to go preach in North Carolina, God's God spare. And it's my sermon, so I can't, but I will tell you this, there's a shift coming. Oh, I'm telling you what God say, people of God, there's a shift coming. Nobody can stop it. Oh, I, I will tell you this. Let me walk this thing. Let me slow it down. Those that are in position, sometimes they haven't done the right thing. So God is getting ready to shift. You see, God wants people that have a heart for him and a heart for his people. God don't want greedy people in position. Yeah, I'm saying it. God doesn't want disobedient people in position. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm talking about in the church and out the church. God is looking for obedient people. God is looking for, guess what, people that love God with all their heart, their mind, their body, and their soul. That's what God is looking for in this hour. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Those that, that have love in their heart, not a hard heart, a cold heart. God is not looking for that. We have enough of that. God is not looking for people to have rage and anger. and No, God say love people back to life. You got to meet people where they're at, God says. The enemy will give you a job. The enemy will give you money. The enemy will give you anything to try to pull you and take your time from operating in your mantle and your calling. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because there's a difference between job and work. God never gave you a job. God gave you a work to do. Are you in your calling? Are you doing what God have called you to do with all your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul? Because all of us have a gift. All of us are ministers. Just what kind? All of us are worship leaders. Just what kind? Because your life, people are watching your life. People are watching the way you live. If this is real life, it's Memorex. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody's watching everybody right now. And truth be told, you know what people are, are wondering? Are you with God? Have you spent time with God? Is this real? Because people are hurting. And people want to know who has spent time with God. Who are hearing from God? There it is right there. Who have the presence of God? The spirit of God? All that fake stuff is coming down. All them liars are coming down. I'm telling you what God said. People don't like it when you tell the truth. God is looking for people that have a pure heart and pure motives. Hallelujah. 
So there's a shift. I'm, I'm letting y'all know there's a shift and nobody can stop it. Who can stop God? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, that's a, my church. That's a, my people. People are hurting. And God is, God is sending Davids. God is sending Moses. God is sending Josephs. Come on, somebody. God is sending Roots. God is sending De- Deborahs. There's a shift. There's a shift of the guards. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm not saying everybody did wrong, but I'm just saying God is not pleased. So God is getting ready to send some fire, ministers of fire, ministers that have fire in their mouth, their stomach, their, oh, come on, somebody, that that when they walk in, the presence of God walks in with them. No more foolishness. It's too much foolishness, God says. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to get up on here real quick. And just tell you all, be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged, my sister, because God is here. God say, I have 7,000 that have not bowed down to the spirit of Baal. Because truth be told, all this bickering, all this arguing everybody's doing, that's not the spirit of God. Calling out each other, that's not the spirit of God. Fighting, that's not the spirit of God. I'm sorry, that's not the spirit of God. Jesus never did that. Hallelujah. His disciples never did that. Stop, stop playing, stop playing. We have to return to the oracles of God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. We have to return to the oracles of God. I'm going to say it one more time. We have to return to the oracles of God. Be humble, God says. Humble yourselves. A lot of people want to know what when is change when people humble themselves and repent. He says, and then I'll heal your land. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So I pray that you all just continue to be strong in the Lord. Truth be told, for the real ones of God, you've been going through. You can't tell me nothing. I know you've been going through. God said he's not trying to break you. He's building you up for this last battle. Hallelujah. He's taking some stuff out. He's putting some stuff in. He's taking some stuff out. He's putting some stuff in. That's why it's been a lot of loss. Because guess what? There's a cost. You see, there's a cost of the oil. This little oil, oil that they got, mm -mm, that's not getting people healed and delivered. God wants you to walk heavy or not at all. (laughs) I'm telling you what God said. So I'm not going to stay before you long. I'm going to start. I'm going to start getting back on here a lot more. I've just been. Oh, my God. I've been so busy. Y'all just don't know. But God, God is good. God is good. God is good. So God bless you all. Be encouraged. Walk worthy before God. Walk worthy of your calling. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Some of you are saying, God, I've been through this. God said, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to build you up for the real battle. Y'all think we've been through something? <laughs> Baby, the real stuff coming. I'm going to say it again. The real stuff is coming. This is what's happening. Satan is building up his army. And God is building up his army. And there's a spiritual war. Period. That's what's happening. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you all. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, everyone. God bless. God bless. God bless.